They travel thousands of uncharted miles during dangerous voyages of discovery. Navigating by sun, stars in instinct. When clouds arose and strange winds blew, they would simply call upon the protection of their gods and then resign themselves to drift wherever the ocean took them. They built civilizations without a written language. They constructed homes of bamboo and leaves. They battled nearby island nations. They created mysterious carvings. They developed sacred customs along with lively traditions of dance and music. And today, many of those customs continue. They make cloth by pounding bark. Fire using coconuts. And messages with drums. They make jewelry out of leaves. Stories with their hands. Meals from treetop fruit. And buildings without nails. All you have to make is the time to see it. Introducing the Polynesian Cultural Center, Hawaii's number one paid visitor attraction. History and hospitality of seven Pacific cultures. Mercy! Tonga! Come alive at the Polynesian Cultural Center. I say this is a great place. Uh, you would get that, that taste of all the different islands of Polynesia in one day. And not just like a little taste, but you'd get uh, pretty much uh, all you can get throughout all of Polynesia in just the Polynesian Culture Center. In the Samoan village, you get to see people climb trees, coconut trees. Shake your hips if you want to in Tahiti. Rub sticks to create fire. Play ancient games of skill. Carve tiki figures. Wield fire knives. And conquer coconut trees in bare feet. Hear their music firsthand, as well as the intriguing details of early transoceanic navigation and tribal dartoing. Enjoy entertaining cultural demonstrations. Horizons, the center's heralded evening show and the Lanesian entertainment spectacle in the world, featuring over 100 student performers, includes authentic song and dance, spinning fire knives, gong and drums, Samoan firewalkers and more. Without employment at the center, many of the performers would not be able to afford a college education at the adjacent Hawaii campus of Brigham Young University. Nearly 30,000 BYU Hawaii students from over 60 nations have helped finance their college education while working at the center. The center also offers natural gardens, a leisurely canoe ride through each of the seven villages, and a colorful canoe pageant 
that occurs each afternoon on our tropical lagoon. Highly acclaimed IMAX movies are presented on our seven-story tall screen. And authentic mementos are sold in our large Polynesian art and handicrafts marketplace. In addition, a relaxing free tram ride provides the opportunity to explore Laie, including visits to the nearby BYU Hawaii campus and historic temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In short, though the Polynesian Cultural Center is just a 35-mile scenic drive to Oahu's North Shore, it's a world away from Waikiki. Nowhere is this more obvious than in the center's seven villages themselves. Anciently, the Tongan drums were the wooden drums. They were used to call people to uh, festivities, call to certain meetings. We're in Tonga, they call us the masses of the drums. Right behind me, we have our drums. Now in Tonga, they're called Nafa. Everybody say, Nafa! Nafa! Come on, everybody, Nafa! Nafa! Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Sione Malaitao Tarikavinika. I'm from Tomilangto, 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 Junior. You try it. <laughs> well, today, Jim is going to pick two volunteers. We're going to demonstrate how we play our drums here in the islands of Tonga. The most enjoyable part would definitely be the reaction of whoever the audience is. Uh, the crowd uh, doing the show here at PCC, it's definitely uh, the reaction I get after I've been done performing or done doing the drums. Let me ask my drummers one by one, see if they're ready for you. Georgia, are you ready? Sure! Georgia's ready, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Japan, are you ready? <laughs> Japan is ready, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. It seems to me you know what you're doing. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit faster, okay? Now up! Other villages also entertain visitors with their music and crafts. For instance, in the center's Hawaii village, as well as in the popular Ali'i Luau, the world-famous hula dance can be enjoyed and experienced firsthand. The hula began as part of ancient ceremonies. In earliest times, the hula was usually accompanied by an ipuheke, or hollowed-out gourd. Later, sharkskin drums or pahus were used. Even accounts from Hawaii's earliest tourists, explorers, whalers, and sailors of the 18th century indicates that hula was quite popular. After all, they were used to the waltz. At the center's Ali'i Lua, dance is combined with another favorite Hawaiian pastime, eating. Winner of the coveted Kahili Award for preserving Hawaii's culture, our Lua recreates the royal ceremony of early Hawaiian luas. Including the traditional custom of roasting a pig in an emu, the Hawaiian word for an underground oven. Besides pig, our modern-day luau's include another native favorite, poi. But visitors don't always appreciate the pasty texture and bland taste. Doesn't really have Ooh. much of a taste. 
<laughs> it's awful. <laughs> Tastes just like wallpaper paste. You want some? I need a little bigger spoon. It has no taste. You don't want any? It's an acquired taste. No, no <laughs> In early Polynesian civilizations, the conch shell was used to communicate messages. Typically, it would signify the arrival of visitors or the beginning of important meetings. But it was also used as a signal in battle. Here at the center, we use it to announce horizons, the island's biggest night show. <laughs> May the spirit of the Polynesian Cultural Center go with you. Aloha.